guys welcome to the pc tips pro and in today's video we are going to see what is the difference between wordpress website and a coding website so before getting into the video if you guys haven't yet subscribed to the pc tips pro please do subscribe and now let's get into the video so firstly when it comes to wordpress so i just need to say that the wordpress doesn't need any coding experience and you just need to log in into your panel so it is as simple as that so uh, you can just find plenty of tutorials on pc tips pro you can just go find it out out there so it's very easy and for the beginners who are willing to make their website first website it is very easy for them to understand the wordpress so it's undoubtedly a good skill and when it comes to the coding uh, website so the usually the coding websites are built using html css and javascript so you, you may also use the uh, other programming languages like python and all so let's just consider this three for now and then so what is the difference so when you can just really really make uh, good websites uh, like you know attractive websites from wordpress why to go for this complex uh, like learning this programming languages and all uh, to make our own website when we can really make a, a website from wordpress so easily why to learn these all programming languages and uh, coding to make our own website so let's see that in our video so we'll be getting a qu answers to all your questions in this video so firstly uh, the number one is the wordpress is not free so most of the plugins are paid uh, so when uh, when you start blogging you may not have money to get these plugins right so themes and uh, good features like these pl plugins do have this all uh, features and uh, all the good themes but they are not for free so when you are an absolute beginner you may not be willing to pay such amount for the plugins so if you are writing some content like your, you do have your blog you can just recommend it to go over this wordpress but let's say uh, you have some uh, business or anything that is completely depend upon the product that you are just giving uh, the website that you are making now or the product that you are getting out so is it really really recommendable to uh, just rely on wordpress i don't think it is so because the wordpress may have crashes like we don't know what does uh, what do happen like it, it, it is always good to have our own uh, own website that is made from our own hands so when it comes to but if you want to make any startup like if you know uh, you want to uh, you got a client and a client comes to you and saying that they want to create a machine learning startup and they want customized uh, for their startup as the product is important we cannot rely on wordpress so if wordpress gets a bug let's say a wordpress gets a bug and if uh, any other thing there uh, there is a risk there is a risk in the product so we cannot really uh, rely on the wordpress so uh, they, that may stop also so and also one more thing is most of them are paid so the number two will be you will never go you'll never know where your data is going so uh, your plugin may take control of your website uh, if your product is only basic and website then you can you can't rely on wordpress completely like the pl plugins uh, you don't make those plugins some other people make those plugins and if you really use them you don't know they may take control over your data also and the next point is pro level customization so this pro level customization is possible with the coding so uh, let's say i need a blog with a youtube playlist so i want a blog and along with that i want my youtube playlist to happen like you know to occur uh, to you know appear on the page so that is that two side by side so i have my own uh, imagination and i want it to be a, a live website so the wordpress developer what they do they search for a plugin uh, like uh, is there any plugin uh, that will do this like this kind of stuff um, if they don't find it uh, so they can't do anything if they find it it is okay if they don't we can't do anything so uh, for every need like for everything that you think of there is no plugin so there may not be any plugin so in that case what can we do so it is possible with the coding we can customize our website like uh, according to the client's wish or according to your wish so for example let's say a game like a javascript game so the game which you cannot do it with the plugins 
it it will comes uh, uh, it will comes out with the coding so um and one thing one more thing is no one will get access to your pc like like you have on the wordpress so in the wordpress others may get access to your content but this is locally saved on your pc and no one can get uh, access to it so another one more example is for ott platforms like netflix prime we are streaming and we need servers in wordpress uh, we cannot really make it like this wordpress is not suitable for such kind of things so if you are making a code uh, and don't rely and not relying on the wordpress you can make such things so i'm not uh, i'm not telling that wordpress is not a uh, good one to choose wordpress is also a skill but uh, the coder requires algorithms and all to make it a uh, a good customized uh, website for for clients or for the requirements so wordpress is also very very a uh, needed one it's a very good skill and when goes to the when we go to the next number that's number 4 that is backend is under control so uh, backend is not under control in wordpress uh, for this we need to create a custom code like let's say a plugin uh, one is assigned with one task and plugin two is assigned with another task so both are independent so we can we don't know what's happening there so backend is not under under our control so mostly big companies uh, which even do want to maintain a small blog will prefer this coding uh, coding website because the backend is under their control so that and also other features like other things like yeah, their data privacy and all other things will be under control so the next comes uh, whether should i learn wordpress or coding so this question can be answered that um, you, you you can just learn both like having both in your pockets is really really helpful to you like you can uh, Uh, if you want to earn money like by freelancing and all you can go with wordpress there are lots and lots of uh, clients for you but if you have your coding in your pockets it's lot more easy for you so i pre- i recommend you to learn both like wordpress and your uh, website building using the coding so you can really uh, it's like you know it's very very uh, easy for you to find a client for you if you have both of them and then as i have said you wordpress is a good skill and will be useful for freelancing and coding is also important and having both of them in your pockets you can create beautiful pages so this is all for this video guys thank you for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe to pacetips pro